So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology, Galaxy S24 Ultra versus Nothing Phone 2 speed test. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up in three, two, go. Now, the reason I'm making this video is I've been getting quite a few comments asking for this speed test here. Had a few to get to first, but Nothing is a very young smartphone brand but I'm very impressed with their optimizations, their performance, and while they're a newer brand, they do have a lot of experience and it boots up faster than the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra. They, while they don't have the fastest specs out there, they focus a lot on software improvements and a lot of people have been really enjoying their Nothing phones because they keep bringing useful improvements to their software updates as well as improved optimization. So the overall experience is a lot faster than the chipset would actually make you think. So we're gonna see how fast it is by comparison to the best Samsung on the market. Now, both of these do have in-display fingerprint sensors. Let's go ahead and see which one can do this quicker. And let's see it again, three, two, go. I think the nothing, that's what I thought at first. I think it has a little faster animation, but it's very, very close. Yeah, I think the nothing's animation snaps in a little faster. I also really like the placement of the S24 Ultras in display fingerprint sensor and I like how you don't have to have the screen on to go ahead and unlock it. Now the Nothing phone is in a nice location as well, but it's a little bit low so I kind of got to reach like that. So I would prefer if they move it up just a little bit like right there. It's just a little bit too low, but I really like the way it looks. Kind of reminds me of a, an older iPhone if you will, Touch ID from back in the day. It kind of looks like that. But in general, just kind of scrolling through, when you first boot these on, they both take a second to get warmed up like two seconds and then everything's super smooth. Um, but Android 14 over here on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, we're still waiting for that vivid update for the screen. But we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. This is not the Exynos variant, 12 gigabytes of RAM. Over here, 120 hertz display as well. LTPO, very fast here. Snapdragon 8 Gen plus one, or 8 plus Gen one. Yeah, 8 plus Gen one CPU over here. This is on the Nothing OS 2.5.2, and this is 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gig model. Um, but honestly, even though that chip's a couple years old now, it really, it really doesn't show it at all. This thing is buttery smooth, super fast, and one of the most impressive I've seen in 2023. Let's go ahead and get into the app test. All right, so here we are at the application test. Everything is closed out for both. We'll begin with the basic apps first. We'll start with Google Calendar. And you can see that was about the same. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off right there. So we're both in the lighter mode. And you'll see everything is in light mode here. If you're wondering why this looks a little more toned down, it's because the wallpaper changed the icon color. Let's go into the calculator. Fast on the Samsung. We'll go into the clock. Maybe on the Samsung, we'll go over to the clock here, timer, stopwatch. You can see the animation's pretty close. Let's go into Play Store. Faster on the Nothing Phone, we'll hit Games. About even. Faster on the Nothing Phone, we'll go to Offers. About even. Faster on the Samsung. But you're seeing so far, just generally using both phones, offering up identical usage here. Look at that. That goes to show, that's faster than the phone. That goes to show that if you optimize the phone correctly, you don't always need to always boost the chip up. To have, you just need great optimization. Let's go into Groupon here. This one was not ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that one one more time. By the way, if you're wondering how I got this like this, I, I'm using good lock now. So let's go into Groupon, so I've been customizing some stuff. But you can see pretty much the same there. Categories, things to do. And you'll see, that look faster than a nothing phone. Fun and leisure, about the same. So even though we have the latest Samsung Galaxy, nothing keeping up with animations and speed. Let's go into Twitter or X. Faster than a nothing phone. We'll go over here to profile. And why this excites me, um, it's not because I'm just trying to give them all the credit in the world. The Samsung is still like my favorite phone out right now. Let's go into Instagram. 
Why I'm giving them this credit is because it's exciting for such a young smartphone brand, although they do have a lot of experience, the people designing and creating this phone in the industry, you know, I'm just excited for like where the future is going. If they can optimize this with a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, imagine where the next Nothing Phone 3 is going to be, the 4 or the 5. I mean, these phones are going to be incredible in just a couple years um, since it's already very good. You can see just scrolling through, we're getting nearly identical performance. Let's go into Amazon. That might have been the Samsung. And got a little hair right there. Let's go into eBay. Faster than a Nothing Phone. My eBay, about the same. And don't get me wrong, the Nothing Phone is more of a toned down experience, a little bit less um, feature packed, but more unique and uh, has its own quirks that make it very different from other smartphone brands. Let's go into Tempo Run 2. Also, I like its um, kind of a minimal nature. It, it feels pretty minimal by comparison to a lot of other phones. And Samsung takes it there on that one. We'll hit play. It has a more minimal, like nothing nature. Like it's trying to giving you um, a little bit less on the phone to make it, but more useful features. Let's go into Subway Surfers, where Samsung as always is cramming everything in the kitchen sink. And I think there's value to be had for both. If you're the type of person who values having everything in the kitchen sink, like Samsung is like the only choice. If you value um, unique looks, the glyph interface, the um, minimal design of the software, I think you'll really enjoy the Nothing Phone more. It's very plain kind of with its own like glyph uniqueness. It's going to play. So I like both for um, different reasons. And you could see they both launched that easy game. Let's go ahead and head up out of here. I also need to turn off auto rotate. Let's go over here to Jetpack Joyride. Faster so far on a Samsung and gonna take the win. Yes. Whoa, the nothing phone caught right back up. I thought it was on the Samsung. I'm kind of shocked that it's actually hanging this close, especially in the games. It's going to free fire. Maybe extended performance. I'm not sure how they would do. It would probably go to the Samsung under heavier uh, gaming performance long term, but it loaded free fire first too. Wow. They are really paying attention to optimization with the nothing phone too. You can see right here, faster on the Samsung. And pretty much the same over there, just a little faster on the Samsung. We'll go into Speed Test Net, faster on the Nothing Phone. And we'll go into 3D Mark, faster on the Samsung. So they're trading blows here. Let's go into Geekbench 6, about the same. And InShot, Samsung had that. So Samsung took quite a few, Nothing took quite a few, but Really, for under $700 for their 512 gig model right now for the Nothing Phone 2, that is a steal. This phone is performing near at the level of these thousand plus dollar, $1,300 phone. Now, granted, it doesn't have as many features. It doesn't have the S Pen, the super large, the largest display out there, but it's still pretty sizable. It's not too narrow, pretty small punch hole. And while not the best camera experience, it's a pretty darn good phone for being only in its second iteration. Let me know your thoughts on the overall results in the app test. So we're at the RAM management and I'm gonna start doing this for my speed test going forward. I'm gonna put this, uh, I'm gonna allow the back gesture in full screen. Um, this could give the Samsung a slight advantage as nothing phone still has that unenabled. You can see all the applications are still open here. And we're gonna go ahead and show you what that does, but super smooth here holding all applications. So what this is gonna do is take away that double swipe to come out. So now this is nearly the smoothest phone out there for sure. Let's go into Temple Run 2. And I probably should enable that for all my Apple tests. I'm gonna do this in the future against the Apple device, which doesn't have that double swipe on the back gesture. We we'll a calculator, calendar, and flawless performance. One of the benefits to the Samsung is all the multitasking though, and I think the customization is heavier for the Samsung, if you're into that stuff. Now let's take a look at what I think was arguably one of the smoothest of last year. Beautiful animations, they just look so good here on the Nothing Phone, so I gotta do that swipe gesture, so it's not really that it's slower, it's still holding it, it's just I don't have the good lock feature on here. And you'll see, if we go here, 
they got this the look of these animations on point though man they look they kind of do look better than these samsungs i'm not gonna kill with you they look snappier smoother like they just look better so i would say the nothing phones animations look better the samsung held all of them so they're kind of even in the actual performance area but the actual look of them i think you might perform uh prefer the nothing phones speed i mean just look at this not that the samsung is bad they really have went to town i just think they're like one a few updates away from flawless as well they could do a little work um but it's not bad both of them are very very good nothing phone standing toe to toe with the latest once again though this is insane so our final scores are in and the samsung does 45 67 on the overall score with the nothing phone way behind at 26 75 with an average frame rate of 27.35 versus 16.02 this score is better than 61 percent of devices on the nothing phone and over here 91 percent so i think where this would really showcase itself is if you were playing like a graphically intensive game for an extended period of time with max settings on the samsung might be able to sustain its performance longer and probably stay a little bit less warm but the nothing phone is very efficient it doesn't really feel warm at all so i don't know what they're doing but they're they have really good efficiency here their temperature stays in line and while this isn't the best score out there it's pretty respectable for the price you're paying on this phone. Um, this is twice the price, and it's not even twice better in performance. It's about 30% better there. So let's go into the run CPU benchmark. But you're not just paying for performance. I know, I know. You say, well, it doesn't matter. I'm being... Well, I know. It's the cameras. It's the battery that's bigger. You are paying for a lot here, the ecosystem. So um, we'll run the Geekbench 6, and I'll be back and we'll just kind of see the scores between these two amazing phones in just a second. All right, so our final scores are in and the single core for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Take a look here, I want you to pay attention. 1954 single core versus 1729. That is a huge score there on the single for a phone that has a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And I'm not saying that's a bad CPU, it's a good CPU. But for being a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, only giving not even 200 or like like 200 more points um, shows that in regular everyday performance they have optimized the heck out of the you know, nothing phone too. Also in the single in the multi core, like I said, um, they're heavier stress in gaming. You're probably gonna see a win there to the Galaxy. So that's it there. Let's go ahead and do one last test. We'll go ahead and run ourselves a camera launch. See how fast they can launch those things. Three, two, and go. And we were on the front facing camera, so I'm going to just go ahead and run them one more time. Maybe a couple times. I like to do these a couple times. Three, two, go. I think nothing phone had that. Okay. And I like that. Uh, three, two, go. Yeah, faster on the nothing phone to launch the camera. But what about the shutter speed? And you could see, though, here's where you're really getting your money's worth on the Samsung, though. Look at all the various options. Look at all the photo modes. I mean, this thing is way more loaded for the camera. So you're paying that extra money for that beautiful camera system. But at the end of the day, we're doing a speed test. And I got to say, the Samsung still reigns king here. But nothing phone is showing that even for a phone being in a second iteration, it is playing up there with the big dog. So probably not quite top tier flagship ultra level but it's exciting to see where they're going to go with the nothing brand in the future i think they're going to continue to offer some great phones and they're going to offer things that you've probably never seen before as their mission is to be more um, different from the, just the everyday same thing every year kind of phone so i'm excited to see where they go and samsung reigns supreme um, as the winner once again <laughs> It's going to be a tough this year for these phones going up against the S24 Ultra. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.